Hey guys, yeah, those rulings were in these five states, Florida, Kentucky, Texas, Louisiana, and Utah. And here in Oklahoma, Planned Parenthood is convinced that current state law protects a right to abortion. What we're asking the court to do today is to say what they should and that these medical decisions should be private between the individual and their medical provider and the government should not interfere. Planned Parenthood detailing their lawsuit against Oklahoma's trigger ban that went into effect one week ago today. What have your partners and clinics seen impact wise since this decision from the Supreme Court? When the decision came down last Friday, we had to talk to patients in Arkansas. We had to explain to patients in Missouri what was happening. But in Oklahoma, we had to say, no, things are still what they are. And you've got to flee this state to get health care. On top of the new lawsuit over Oklahoma's trigger laws, pro-choice groups also awaiting a final decision on their challenge to laws that banned abortion through civil litigation. State Senator Greg Treat, author of the state's trigger law, says the challenges are without merit. The Oklahoma Constitution, just like the U.S. Constitution, provides no right to an abortion. They know that, but they're going to try to get the Oklahoma Supreme Court to, to find that, write that from the bench. And the pro-choice groups involved in these new lawsuits are asking for that trigger law to be temporarily halted before a final decision can be made. A similar request was made for those lawsuits that dealt with civil litigation abortion bans, but that request was not granted. Reporting live at the Capitol, I'm Andy Weber, KOCO 5 News.